Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Alright guys, so I'm going to do a pick a deck reading. I don't think I've ever done this before, so I figured I would do it. I have three different decks here from Cheryl Marchetti. Um, I think the Gilded Tarot, the Gilded more fancy tarot, and then um, the Legacy Tarot. Uh, the one in the middle is the Gilded Royale. So, choose which one is calling out to you. And I will basically just slide them back a little bit. We're going to start off with number one. And it's um, one minute. All right, so you chose the first deck. Let's just dive in and see what some overall energy is right now. What is the overall energy? Okay, I'm flying. We have the Hermit, and we have the World, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever's going on right now probably isn't a whole lot you know with the uh, hermit coming through this is energy like people just kind of like going within reflecting thinking meditating basically I feel like you're coming to the end of a cycle or coming to the end of a chapter here and so with the world it's like something is closing and you may be sensing that so you're going within and really reflecting on what you're wanting for the next chapter reflecting on what's going to be happening for the next chapter wanting victory and also with the six of pentacles this is about give and take so i feel like maybe you weren't receiving as much as you were giving in the last chapter and so you're starting to think about what type of boundaries you're going to be setting up for the next piece of the journey and just really reflecting on what you've been giving into your relationships what you've been giving into your jobs what you've been giving into just life in general so definitely feels like something's closing off and you're wanting to make sure that you have a good balance and a victory when you move forward. So let's see what the overall energy is in love. What is the overall energy in your love situations? You just got the King of Wands. So King of Wands has been showing up a lot um, for me specifically. Um, the past couple of readings I've done and just like a couple of times I pulled cards and I was going to do a reading but then I didn't. And the King of Cups is on the bottom of the deck here too, so he's been showing up. He showed up a lot last night. I feel like the King of Wands is somebody that's very passionate, okay? They they aren't going to let things hold them back. They're going to go after what they want, like they know what they want, but they can also be a little bit like freedom, you know, like wanting freedom, wanting to just kind of play around and do their own thing and just have that freedom to do what they want to do and they're not going to let anybody stop them from doing that but they're also going to like fight passionately for what they want and fight passionately for who they love and you know things to that nature and then the king of cups he is more reserved he's somebody that holds back his love sometimes he's usually like not very happy like he doesn't look like he's very content where he is and he has a lot of love under the surface, a lot of emotion, but he doesn't always express it or show it. He kind of keeps it underneath the waters, so he's not the type of person that's going to like be crying or be screaming and yelling or just having like emotional outbursts. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that may be very passionate about you, but they don't express it or they don't show it, okay? And it could be like a soulmate or a twin flame or a divine partnership. Um, and you could be, oh my goodness, you could be getting, you know, firing up a new opportunity between the two of you and energetically vibrating at the same stuff right now, okay? So she's very magnetic, she's very charismatic, she's, you know, that go-getter in her own life, she's got career stuff going, she's very creative, she's very passionate, he's very creative and passionate, and when you bring these two together, it's like, well, boom, there's a lot of passion, a lot of desire, I feel like... There's also a lot of love there, but sometimes the, I feel like this love is probably 
not the focus right at this time. Maybe the, the passion is more where the focus is right now, or just even the passion for your own life, like your own careers, your own, you're not really focusing on the relationship as much as you're just focusing on being, you know, out there and in the world and doing your own things and being inspired and being creative and getting things done, but still having that passion for each other, still caring about each other. I just feel like it's, there could be conflict or there could be something going on that's causing you guys to have to put your focus elsewhere. So we've got the justice card coming through and 10 of cups on the bottom here. I feel like, like I said, there may be something coming to a close, some sort of cycle or chapter, some sort of karma could be that they're clearing out karmic partners, could be getting rid of, um, karmic situations or people or just old lessons, things that needed to be learned, things that needed to come into balance. And when these two come out together, it means that they're in balance with their masculine and feminine energies. So you're in the right vibration for a, for a union. You're in the right vibration for a 10 of cups for a happy ending. Um, if you, you know, make sure that you stay in the right energy and you don't withhold your love or you know, sab sabotage it because some people could be very anxious about starting over, but um, even just like reflecting and wishing for something to the point where it's like you start making yourself really like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, and then you can take yourself out of the creative energy or take yourself out of that balanced energy that's aligned with your destiny and almost reject yourself from the Ace of Cups, which is like here's spirit trying to give you this new opportunity, this new beginning where the old one ends, but you could be guarded and blocking it due to either just distractions or due to past pains or due to being too focused on your work or too focused on your career. You may want to tap into those emotions, like I was saying, and start expressing them a little bit more, showing the person that you care about them because you could be in the high priestess mode where it's like people may not know exactly what's going on with you and your emotions and you could be withholding them for reasons that have nothing to do with that person but they could be impacted by it because you're not expressing your love or your passion or your desire for them so try to be mindful of that and let's see um, what your person could be thinking so we've got the lovers coming through, so they probably think of you as their divine counterpart, or they could be thinking that they want to choose you over somebody else if they're with another person with this justice card coming out, um, or that, you know, because the lovers is traditionally about a man deciding between two women, but in these decks it's more so about, like, elevating up this person, you know what I mean, and choosing to have that person that you you vibe with and that you balanced with and all of those things so what else is this person thinking about when it comes to you we have the strength card so this energy has been coming through too i feel like somebody's trying to get the strength together or feels stronger now than they may have before to possibly come rushing in with some sort of communication now with the knight of wands he was on the bottom of the deck when i got before i started shuffling to get this so I feel like the Knight of Wands energy is here as well. There's a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of drive. Um, and it could be just to communicate or it could be just to come in and to like express that desire, express the strength of the love that you have for each other, express the emotions that you have for each other. Something wants to be something wants to be expressed. What does what wants to be expressed? What wants to be expressed? We have the three of wands. So the Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in, but then the Devil's on the bottom. So I feel like somebody may feel like they've been waiting to express their desire, their passion, their, their like, their rawr type of energy. This can be passion and sexual, like, you know, wanting to get freaky deaky, basically. So I feel like somebody could be on the sideline waiting for that or wanting to do that, but they haven't really come forward for it. I just split the deck and I got the Five of Wands. So there could be competition, conflict, somebody could be jealous or somebody could be causing issues within your connection. So everything's been put on hold or everything's been put into stagnancy, into waiting. And so this fire and this passion is building and building and building and it could be because of third parties, it could be because you're married, it could be because there's people on the outside causing issues for your relationship, um, but it feels like basically things are just put on hold, and while things are put on hold, people's perspectives have been changing, people have been reflecting on things, they could be very nostalgic, wanting to, you know, come back around to communicate, yeah, I just, I just split the deck again and I got the King of Swords, wanting to communicate some sort of truth and integrity, um, 
and wanting to offer that cup, wanting to offer their, their romance and their love to somebody that they haven't necessarily maybe been available to have that with for some time. So let's see what are they feeling. We have the temperance card. So this is a balance of passion and emotion. So I do feel like this person does love and does have passion and desire for you. And the temperance is my yes union energy, which is, again, the balance of the cups and the fire. It's just a balance of those things. So I feel like the two of you are in balance with each other. But there could be outside conflict or things that are causing issues. So they're, they're emotionally wanting and passionately wanting to come in. We also have the Seven of Cups, but it definitely wanted to come out in reverse. So I feel like there could be other options. There could be distractions and illusions and all of those things. But whoever you're connected with, they may feel like out of all those options and out of all those distractions, they have the most passion for you or that they want to get rid of those other options and distractions, clear up that karma, you know, fight for what they feel is the right thing for them, that divine thing for them, and, you know, eliminate the illusions, eliminate the distractions, eliminate the bullshit that's causing problems within your connection. And then we have the two of pentacles, so they could be juggling around in their mind, not necessarily knowing exactly what to do or how to do it or where to go. You know, they could definitely be like should I choose somebody else or should I stay where I am or should I blah 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 you know what I mean just because of maybe possibly all this conflict and competition and crap things that could be going on around you or the fact that they don't know where you are at with things I just split the deck and got the empress energy so they are, could be like trying to figure out who their empress is and leaning into the direction of feeling like or thinking that it may be you but I feel like they're trying to get clarity or gain some sort of wisdom as they're healing and as they're, you know, overcoming any pain that they've gone through. They may want to make a vulnerable, authentic offer, but they're waiting to do so. And I feel like it's because they're not quite sure what's going on here. They're having a hard time tapping into their intuition and just feeling out what they need to be doing or what their destiny is. So let's see what they want. I'm going to pull back some of these cards. So we're only using one deck. What is it that this person wants? Oh, we got the Ace of Cups. So they want a new start, okay? And I feel like they're waiting and watching for that opportunity to have this new start. And they want to say something, but they just haven't yet. There's a bright orange bird out the window. So your sacral energy and that fire passion energy may be, um, again, very strong at this time. And with the Magician, I feel like things are transforming and the death card is about transformation and then justice again so I feel like person wants to have a new beginning the person is transforming you could be going through an ego death could be changing things up in their life a lot could be changing how they feel about you could be changing you know what they've got around them or who they've got around them um, could be changing old behaviors this is you know past deeds lying stealing cheating manipulating um, and it's also that self-sabotage that I, I see it as where people kind of basically go inside their mind and, and think all the worst thoughts that they could possibly think. But they could be transforming all of that and wanting to have a fresh start with their empress, wanting to have somebody that's going to nurture them, that's going to love them unconditionally. It's going to be the mother of their children and basically, you know, show up for them in all the ways that the empress does. They could see you as the pre-empress right now, that Nine of Pentacles, single, confident, independent person that they'd like to unite with to become the empress because that's who she becomes. So I definitely feel like there's positive energy here, but there's also, you know, this there's something surrounding it that's been negative, something that has caused heartache, something that's causing you guys to be delayed within this connection. And um, it may be between the two of you or it may be outside influences, but I definitely feel like justice is needed. Karma is needed to be cleared. So what is needed to be released? We got the Knight of Wands coming through. So I feel like... Um, in order for the two of you to reconcile or speed up your reconciliation, any of the back and forth, like, I'm really passionate about this person, never mind, like the triggers, like when you're really like all for it and then you get triggered by something and you get frustrated and you kind of just like retreat and then you go back and then you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and it's just because you're getting triggered or you're getting upset or because something on the outside causes you conflict or, you know, there's just a bunch of bullshit around. I feel like 
people need to tap into this fiery passion with the drive to complete like he has you know what i mean but i feel like they like the underlying energy is that you guys have what it takes to make it across the finish line but it's just been slow and you guys are sick of waiting for that to happen so i think what happens is you get this fiery passion inside of you and then because things are so slow and it's like you feel like you're just waiting and waiting and waiting sometimes that fire dies out and then it's like you revert back into old behavior or into old thoughts that kind of hinder your connection when you need to be being steadfast and just loyal to it you know what i mean and moving out of any emotional turmoil any mental turmoil and just like being ready to go the long haul because he's the one that like he knows what he wants, he goes in to get it, but sometimes he doesn't like finish the whole like shebang. He's like, hey, I kind of got what I wanted, so bye. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have the full on like integrity or the full on stamina of like the king. He needs to kind of evolve or upgrade a little bit. And I feel like th with all of that fire and passion energy that was coming through, it's like, it's just way too slow for, for a lot of you guys. So you're getting frustrated and giving up instead of having patience, which is what temperance is, and just waiting for your ships to come in as they're supposed to come in so that you can have that stability and you can have that long-term feeling of support and connection and desire and all of that. So I did pull some other cards. I have three different piles over here. So this is for this pile here. So we have, I remember memories, past lives. So I feel like the two of you have had past lives together. There is like a, a long standing connection between the two of you um, on a soul level. This person's eternally yours. And you both want completion. You both want loyal companionship. You both want that 10 of pentacles energy, which is like what he represents. You know, he's the one that's going to bring that to someone like the nine of pentacles to have that ultimate fulfillment and that completion within a relationship and then from the journey of love too we have here and now i want you back in my life faded i'm sure this was all meant to be an attraction i'm drawn to you uncontrollably so again i feel like there is a strong magnetic con connection here there's that passion that drive that desire to have that companionship with each other and i'm sure whatever you guys have been through there was an element of fate because you kept getting the wheel of fortune and then with the timing, we have, um, I pulled quite a few, so we have, it's time for a break, how are you even awake, so make sure that you're taking time out, because I do feel like you guys need to relax a little bit with all that fire, it's like, you could be burning all of your oil up and, you know, giving your all at once and then kind of burning out and not having the stamina to complete what you need to complete when it comes to this connection. And then with 999, like I was saying, I feel like there's an ending and new beginning happening here where cycle is closing. So you could be seeing the nines um, or you could just be in that nine of pentacles energy or just in the nine energy, which is endings and new beginnings with that world that started this whole thing off. Something is definitely closing. But the more that you're counting minutes, the more that you're impatient, the longer it's going to take, the longer it's going to seem. So they're saying counting minutes as the digits. Be patient. And then open a book, take a look closer. The answers you seek will come this week. So I feel like you need to go within or start researching some stuff, you know, trying to figure out like what might need to heal, what might need what might need your attention, what where do you need to like take a break, where do you need to look at things closer, where do you need to, you know, focus your attention so that you're not causing any issues. And then with two two two, this is twin flames, divine partnership, soulmate. So I do feel like this is a significant connection for you you could be seeing the twos and what are you waiting for open the door opportunity so there is an opportunity coming for the two of you with that four of cups it's like some of you might miss it you know you might miss your ace, ace of cup opportunity with this person if you're too focused on work or too focused on outside conflict so they're saying stop and look around because all you want will be found and inside of this little clock i put the word openness so you want to be open to what's coming in for you and then watch your spending, responsibilities, egotistical, 616. So pay attention to what you're doing right now. Try not to go crazy or, you know, do stuff out of, like, being, like, um, I can't think of the word, but just, like, being, like, like hey, I'm going to just do this out of nowhere, and then I'm going to regret it. And then with green growing on the vine, relax and know you now have time. A glass of wine will calm the mind. So, again, I feel like you need to take a break and not be so, like, Rrr. Let me go, 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 or let me distract, 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 or let me, you know, 
ignore, 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 because I feel like that's what some people are doing. You're going to take a closer look at what's going on around you, because I feel like there is an opportunity available for everything you want to come to fruition with somebody. And then from the deepest desires we have, there's something so sweet about your soft little lips. Both sets, I am sure, are heaven sent gifts. So this person, you know, again, probably wants to hear from you. They want to hear, hear from your lips and they may want to, you know, be involved with both sets. But um, I do feel like this is about communication too. And then the curve of your ass pressed against me so well. I know you're an angel, but you put me through hell, which is interesting because... Um, she's got like the feather here and then they're talking about the angels. So there could be some like support coming in for your connection right now, like angelic support or your ancestors or something just trying to help you and support you and assist you in this connection. And then look deep into my eyes and open your mouth, express your desires before I head south. So somebody could be like getting ready to like give up, getting ready to just like throw in the towel because they're not getting any communication or they're not hearing from this person. So you could be like spontaneously like, you know what, I'm just going to move or spontaneously like I'm just going to change everything right now. And you could be taking off and going to do something or focus on something like that. And then all of a sudden this person's like knocking at your door, but you're no longer there. So, you know, if you're the one that's thinking about just like throwing in the towel or doing something crazy or big, you might want to think about it. Um, but I do feel like if you're the person that hasn't been opening your mouth, you might want to say something because there could be, you know, this could be like your burp, 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 pay attention. And then we have Tantric Twin here with, you touch me with your soul, you touch me with your eyes, you touch me with your words and see me when I hide. So I feel like even if there is no communication right now, um, you still have an element of connection. The part, you two feel each other, communicate with each other telepathically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And consumed with lust from dawn to dusk, that makes sense with all of that fire and passion we saw coming through. I feel like you could be really desiring this person on a physical level. And I never know why you're mad, but it makes me feel bad. So you could feel like this person's just mad at you right now, or they could feel like you're mad at them. And that could be causing some issues in the communication, causing some issues in getting freaky deaky, just causing issues in general, making people be like, I'm just going to up and leave and never come back. And, you know, changing all these big things because they're frustrated. Um, but with the masculine's madness we have, you spark something deep inside of me and your light is guiding me home, beautiful. I feel like I'm losing my mind, awakening and under pressure, sinking into the depths of sadness. So these two cards always look like they go along with me because this is somebody who's sinking and then this is somebody who's like reaching out for the light that's already underneath the water. So I feel like somebody could be kind of in like limbo between this where it's like sometimes they feel like they're sinking down and then other times they feel like they're rising up. But I feel like it's that Knight of Wands energy I was talking about where it's like you get triggered and you're like, fuck it. And then you're not triggered and you're like, ah, and then you get triggered and you go down and it's up and down, up and down. And that can make you feel like you're losing your mind. But it's this person who sparked that fire in you, sparked that passion in you, sparked that desire. And it could be hard for you to get your mind off of them. You could be distracted with different thoughts and then just feeling sad and miserable and tired of pretending that you're not. And then again, wanting to have that playtime, that sexual connection with this person. So yeah, definitely feels like there's a lot going on here, you know, energetically, emotionally, physically, spiritually on all levels. Um, but your ace of pentacles, your valuable new beginning could be coming with this person. If you put the insecurities in the past and you stop, you know, being so up and down, you know, try to try to stay in that balance. Cause I feel like you guys are in a good balance when it comes to your life and situations around you, your energy in general. But when it comes to the relationship, I feel like you might be kind of wavering up and down. So plant seeds of potential for the future to make your wishes come true without letting the insecurities, the doubts and things get to you. Learn your lessons without self-sabotage and let this distractions and bullshit and outside influence and, and you know other options and whatever it is, get the hell out of there so that the two of you can you know have what you've been reflecting on and wishing for within this connection and somebody can go from being hermit mode into taking their romantic gesture and bringing that ace of cups to you okay so hopefully that assisted you guys thank you very much in Rune, namaste all right we're gonna go on to number two now and let's see what comes through for overall energy for number two 
we have the nine of cups so that's a good energy coming through knight of cups on the bottom of the deck so um, somebody could be feeling good somebody could be feeling happy right now could be thinking about making a romantic offer or a gesture you know thinking about possibly making a romantic offer to the queen of pentacles um, I feel like somebody could just be like happy in general and feeling grounded feeling stable feeling like they've got their financial security um, in this deck she can be a little too focused on money sometimes so uh, you could just be like having a focus on stuff like that and with the star you know trying to focus on making your wishes and dreams come true but it definitely feels like good energy so I don't see anything too negative here you know all these positive things happening around you um, you could be attracting to you your two of cups your your soulmate your twin flame a fresh new start with the two of you to work together to build something sacred and um, making decisions about or in regards to love here because the two of swords is in reverse and we got the two of cups with all of this other energy it looks like if there was indecisiveness or I don't really know what I'm doing I feel like people are moving out of that energy and into a place of being more calm more collected more cool and knowing that you know their destiny is kind of already been faded for them that they're sitting pretty you know financially they're sitting pretty in regards to their wishes and their dreams they're just kind of happy so if you're not already in this energy I feel like you're going to be making decisions or somebody around you in this partnership is going to be making decisions that are going to help to take you out of any emotional turmoil into a balanced new start and into a new beginning so right now i feel like is the time to be planting seeds of potential for future for growth and for harvesting you know that love and that that compassion and all those things that go along with it so let's see um overall love we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is about tradition, it's commitment, it's stability, it's that next level commitment to yourself, that next level commitment to somebody else. So uh, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you could be really getting ready to take that, take things to the next level with this person. You know, I think um, it's very positive energy coming through so far. So let's see what your person... <coughs> Stop. See what your person is thinking. We have the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is um, sometimes we're missing an opportunity or Spirit is you know, trying to give us something and we're like dur, 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 not really seeing it or we're too, too distracted by things. And with the Eight of Cups, this is about walking away from the messes in our lives and walking away from the things that keep us from being happy. But sometimes we have to look at this stuff first and be like, you know what, this is my mess, let me clean it up real quick and then I can go be happy. So you could either be dealing with somebody that's not recognizing the fact that the big mess that's right behind them, keeping them from the Nine of Cups is their own, that they need to really like turn around and face real quickly, take that next level commitment to themselves and then they can be happy. Um, but in other situations, I feel like somebody may have been missing an opportunity because of like a third party or because of, you know, some sort of distraction or some sort of thing that was just keeping them from being able to, you know, walk away from, from it and walk right towards their nine of cups. Cause that's the progression. We leave, we leave this shit up behind and then we go be happy. So it feels again, like it's not horrible energy. It's just that somebody may either have something they need to clean up or something that they've they've already kind of cleaned up and now they're they're leaving it in the past or they've already left it in the past and are already sitting in that that happy energy like I'm free from this bullshit I'm good I'm gonna keep going and I know where I'm headed I'm going into my judgment where you know this is a resurrection this can be reconciliation this is a spiritual element as well this is healing so it does again feel like whether people have already walked away people are at the brink of walking away or people are you know need to see that it's time to walk away they're walking towards a resurrection of something that may have been dead or something that was you know like a spiritual commitment or a soulmate connection but like taking that next level commitment to go towards their destiny and to resurrect something that you could possibly be waiting for you know it's like waiting for your ships to come in you could have a little anxiety wondering if this is going to happen there could be conflict competition jealousy um there could have been third parties involved and you could have been waiting and waiting and waiting for a union there and feeling like it was never going to happen but i feel like somebody may be having a wake-up call and or 
um, realization of what's going on, yeah, and stepping into their emperor energy to take their power, to take their stand, and again, planting seeds of potential for the future to grow as the fool, taking their leap of faith, where they leave the old story behind to go towards a new one, so... Again, it looks good, even though there's probably hasn't been so good up until this point. I definitely feel like there's been a lot of bullshit, a lot of conflict, a lot of people that, you know, maybe on the outside of your connection that made a big mess, or a lot of things on the outside of your connection that have made a big mess, or just confusion. Um, but you're, like, leaving that shit behind and going towards a better future. So, let's see what people are feeling. We've got the justice card coming through, so people could feel like their balance is coming, their justice is coming within a connection, leaving behind those karmic contracts, leaving behind the karmic people that no longer serve you, leaving behind that mess, getting rid of third parties, getting rid of distractions, illusions, um, you know, other options, and, and just things that maybe look pretty on the surface, but when you go dive deeper into it, you realize it's just an illusion, you realize it's just bullshit. Um, somebody could have been kind of like playing the field and like looking in lo for love in all the wrong places and that could have been where all this conflict and this competition and this jealousy and resentment was coming from and they could have been missing like what was right in front of them the whole time and now they've got that big mess behind them to clean up and look at and be like, oh, wait a minute. Like, I've been looking in for love in all the wrong places or I've been bringing conflict in you know, stuff to my, my life that I didn't need to bring by kind of just being somebody that was a little flighty or just running around and not really paying attention to what spirit was trying to give to me. But now I'm at this point where I'm ready to clean this up and have my four of wands, my union with something that is going to make me happy, that's going to make my wish come true with somebody that is stable, loyal, committed, financially independent, able to nurture, able to provide, able to give in ways that a lot of people can't. We also have the devil coming through, so this energy did come through in pile one as well, and I felt like it was kind of like that passion and that desire, but it can also represent that karmic stuff that needs to be released. And I feel like because the Eight of Pentacles is here on the bottom of the deck, people are really learning their lessons about that right now. So for some of you, they've already figured it out, and now they're happy because they're like, oh shit, like that's a karmic contract, and I'm clearing that away, and I'm walking away from it so I can go build something sacred in a better place. Some people need to see it and learn that lesson, and some people know it, seen it, but could be dealing with bullshit people that like are kind of lingering around or it's like hard to pick up the pieces from um, and it could be blocking you from your, your ultimate fulfillment, your ten of pentacles somewhere, but I feel like you're still going to get there, you know what I mean? You just got to figure out what the lesson is, figure out where the justice is and let it go. So what is your person wanting? We have the eight of swords with the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck, so I feel like whoever this is they may have a lot of passion and desire and drive and creativity and charismatic, you know, type of energy. This could be you. This could be them. But I feel like there's almost like a fear surrounding it. Could be a fear that, like, if I, I, whatever reason I'm picking this up, could be a fear that because somebody's in this energy, if you're in this Queen of Wands energy, somebody could be afraid that you would be, like, the type of person that would cheat or the type of person that would get too many suitors or attract too much attention um, you know, things like that. And now we've got the King of Wands here with the Seven of Wands. So I feel like you guys are basically the same and you could be mirroring each other with fears. Like they're too good looking, they're too smart, they're too this, they're too that. You know what I mean? Like taking all their good qualities and turning them into bad things out of fear and basically mirroring each other, thinking like the worst of each other. So, um, blocking something there. And I think that needs to come to an end in some of these connections too. So it could be that the karma is within your relationship and you could be causing bullshit and bringing in conflict and experiences within the relationship based out of your own fears. Because we, whatever we focus on, whatever we fear, we usually manifest around us. So you could be seeing things that aren't even real or attracting things in based out of fear. So I think that needs to come to an end and be transformed. Um, but yeah, people are wanting that part of that. Yeah, they definitely wanting an ending, wanting an ending of the fear, wanting an ending of this chapter, wanting an end of ending of feeling like things have been being juggled or an ending of, you know, carrying around any burdens or feeling like I'm not going to get what I give here, you know, but not giving up, feeling, feeling wounded, feeling like things are heavy, but 
wanting to find balance wanting and when these two come out together they are very equal partners like they're on the same level basically they're both you know you know they're both good looking they're both smart they're both creative they're both this they're both that like they're equal partners um and they're usually balanced in their energy and they've they've come out together tonight twice now now this is the third time so i feel like there's a lot of people in that energy but they're almost guarding it because of the energy or they're creating burdens because of it thinking and assuming that this person could have anybody so they're they're gonna have anybody or this is gonna end badly so let's just manifest it ending badly now instead of you know giving people the benefit of the doubt or um trying to attract something more positive so people may need to heal those fears and then we have the three of wands so i think people are still waiting for their ships to come in in these connections wanting to transform wanting to collect all the tools that are required to figure out what they're doing within the within their connections um so yeah i also pulled some other cards beforehand that i have like a couple of my different decks here so we're going to start off with um the journey of love this is the journey of love union and the journey of love too so clarity i finally see i feel like somebody is starting to have clarity or is about to have clarity and it just depends on where you guys are at but somebody's being constantly reminded of you they're having a lot of synchronicity this is like the sun card too so this brings in divine masculine energy and then we have i wanted you the moment i saw you seduction so i feel like that's part of the problem within this is that like the two of you have this like deep seduction for each other um, but you can assume that they're like like that with everybody else or that they could think that about you. Um, but I think clarity will come and realize that like it's not how it is, that this person's actually very stable, loyal, and committed to this person. Um, and I think vice versa. I think you both would be that type of way for each other because he's very dependable. He's very passionate about his partner. Like he would fight to the death for her. You know what I mean? He's not going to be like the type that's going to be off dingling and around. And then we have resentment. Please don't give up. Let me back in. So I feel like somebody's holding on to resentment here. And it could be because of third parties or it could be because something happened, you know, to do with an illusion because we had that seven of cups, something that people didn't see clearly. Everything about you is perfect to me. Beauty. And then you made me feel things I didn't know I could. So I definitely feel like there's a very strong connection between the two of you. This person sees you as being perfect. I think you see them as being perfect as well. Um, but you got to heal any resentments, even resentments to past people too, because if you're holding on to past resentments and wounds and things like that, it can block your current relationships. So that could be the mess that needs to be cleaned up from the past. And then with the divine timing we have in a month's time, you'll see the light shine illuminating. So again, we have this element of light coming, you know, having clarity, figuring things out. So I do think that you guys are going to figure stuff out. And then we have justice, their absence brings balance. So whoever you know is missing in your life right now the fact that they're not there you could be like this is bad this is no good but i feel like you're going to have clarity and realize that it was needed it was needed so you could have clarity it was needed so you could bring things into balance so that the two of you could align with your king and queen of wands energies that are appropriate for each other and then it could be seconds if you count all your blessings gratitude so instead of focusing on the negative stuff or focusing on resentments or focusing on what could go wrong or what has gone wrong start focusing on the things that you're grateful for and it will speed up your clock and then shift your focus ego pursuits financial focus 666 so again you could be too focused on money um, you could be too focused on your career you know almost distracting yourself from the fact that things aren't going as well as you'd like it to within relationship world um, but I feel like in an overall energy of like things are going to be good. So try not to go to that focus. And then as flowers appear, a new dawn is here. Um, expansion, seeing results, awaking the infinite. And then you've got 888, strength, abundance, infinite connection. So you definitely have a lot of abundance coming to you. I feel like you guys are going to be very happy with work or very happy with your careers. Very happy, you know, as you're rising up in, in like the starlight here, making your wishes come true. And I think this relationship stuff just needs to be like you know cleansed up a little bit and then you're gonna have clarity and figure that stuff out too and have the ultimate fulfillment in both areas but they're saying go on holiday there you'll find your way so take a little vacation or a little break if you've been confused or if you're not really 
sure what to do right now about this relationship with somebody and then when gifts are p placed under the tree expect ex extra company so by christmas time i think the two of you would be in a good place you know they could you could be sharing presents and gifts with each other at christmas time or they could be spending their time with you at, at your home or you're spending time with them at their home and then with the deepest desires we have surrender and succumb to me my love Intimacy I crave in your body I do too. There's nobody else that can do what, give what you do. And then I don't even know how, but your love's just so good. I need to come down and break you off of my wood. So I feel like somebody does want to surrender. Somebody wants intimacy and physical connection. And they're not even really sure how they've gotten so intertwined in this. But they're definitely feeling like they want to be more intertwined into it. Physically, emotionally. And then from t uh, Tantric Twin, we have... Fill me with your scent. Let passion fill the air. Tell me what you meant. Tell me that you care. I need to express my desire. You set my soul on fire. I need to lose control and bear all my soul. And I've loved you for a thousand years. And I've loved you through a thousand fears. So I think you guys have been working through a lot of fears within this connection. And I think that you've been through many lifetimes with this connection. And it's like you guys definitely have something that needs to be expressed, something that needs to be said, something that needs to be felt between the two of you. So surrendering into that is going to be, you know, positive for the both of you. And then I'm drowning in, I've got the Masculine's Madness here with, um, I'm drowning in my despair for you. What am I running from? Confusion. I finally see what I've done, new perspective, and I finally see shadow work. So somebody's definitely seeing things in a new way, and I feel like they could have been running at one point, you know, running from this connection, and then they might have realized, like, they didn't have to run anymore because you could have stopped chasing after them. So now they're like, oh, shit, like, what did I do? Because you could be now holding on to resentment from them and, you know, you could be pushing this back or you could be in this like hangman energy where you're not really sure what's, what's going to happen or what to do. And so that could be making them feel like this five of cups energy of like, oh shit, I might have messed up and knocked over these cups without realizing it when they do want a new start here, but could be feeling defeated and conflicted when it comes to actually taking action towards this. But they're trying to do the right thing with integrity and they're ready to break free um, and they're about to break. So I feel like if they're in a karmic relationship or if they've been in something karmic, something toxic or something low vibrational or they haven't seen things in the right way or you haven't seen things in the right way, balance is coming. You've had the justice card show up a couple times. You had the justice card from the divine time oracle show up. I feel like you guys will end up doing the right thing ultimately, clearing up whatever crap there was and breaking into freedom away from whatever stuff is causing an issue here so hopefully yeah you'll get into your chariot and take action towards a commitment that's more stable <coughs> hey um that's more stable for you and have that clarity that sun card coming in bringing you the clarity and the confirmation on the things that you need to know so right now you may be unsure of which way to go or what's going to happen or even if this message is like resonating for you but i feel like if you go within and kind of just reflect on stuff you'll be able to kind of see things more clearly and then take action from there okay so hopefully that assisted in Mune. namaste okay here's number three what is the overall energy for number three we have the wheel coming through, so destiny, fortune, good stuff, high vibrations. Um, I feel like whatever's been going on, you know, it could be starting to have like a turning point in your life right now where things are going to start looking up or things are going to start changing in a whole new direction. Two of Swords was on the bottom of the deck when I got the wheel and now it just jumped out, so um, it could all come down to some sort of decision that you have to make. I feel like you're going to have some sort of clarity or you're going to make some sort of decision that's going to propel you forward with your destiny. <laughs> There's the sun again. So um, if you've been confused or not knowing what to do, I feel like you're definitely going to figure it out soon. Um, and then we got the two of cups with the lovers on the bottom here. So it could be about your partnership, like figuring out, should I stay or should I go? Should I, you know, stay married or go towards this other person or should I you know, choose to stay over here, or should I take, you know, this new valuable beginning over here, taking a leap of faith with somebody that basically you feel like is maybe your divine counterpart, your twin flame, your soulmate, something that you consider to be a two of cups. 
So overall, all energy in this love situation. What is going on in this love situation? We have the Knight of Wands. So he's been showing up a lot today. Um, I feel like this is, again, that energy of not really knowing. So the Knight of Wands, sometimes he shows up like he knows what he wants, but then he kind of like fizzles out and he doesn't necessarily go after it fully. So I feel like that could be part of the issue here is that people have a beautiful destiny ahead of them with a partnership in love, but they've got to make their decision to either commit to it or not. You know what I mean? Like you can't keep going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. Like one day you want it, the next day you don't. One day you do, then you don't. Somebody's going to make the decision to resurrect us, to reconcile, and to come into the Four of Wands, Twin Flame, 1111 11 Union with their divine counterparts. So it feels like somebody needs to make their decision about a union and it's most likely an emperor who needs to tap into his king of wands energy rather than the knight of wands energy so very similar messages from the other two piles coming through here it's almost like the two piles before this combined into this one um, so let's see what your person is thinking we have the seven of cups so your person could have a lot of options a lot of distractions a lot of illusions um, they could be looking at things that look pretty, but when they get closer and look deeper, they're like, oh, that's not as pretty as I thought it was. So they could be dating a lot of people or, you know, considering dating a lot of people or, you know, just being distracted by things right now, it, like money, ego pursuits, stuff that doesn't really serve us, um, but, you know, looks nice. I feel like that could be part of their problem is that they're almost blocking themselves from all the abundance and all the things that they want by not just going after one thing or being, you know, driven towards that one thing um, fully. So then we have the Three of Swords with the Knight of Swords. So I feel like somebody wants to heal and they want to, you know, deliver truth. So this is the Knight of Swords rushing in with communication. Three of Swords is about healing from heartache. So I feel like somebody could be having some heartbreak. You know, they could have been hurt before and it could have turned them into the type of person that just like kept their options open and didn't really want to settle down in love because love hurts. So they could be, that could be who you're dealing with, somebody that now wants to say something or communicate and receive love this is the second time she's been on the bottom of the deck here um so the queen of cups is the one that loves unconditionally so this person may want to work together to build something with a queen of cups or somebody that they see as the high priestess um so they may not know where you stand with them right now depending upon what they've been doing you know they could have come in and out of your life they could have broken your heart and they may want to say something to you but they're not exactly sure if you're you're you know, focused on them or not, because you could be single, independent, confident, focused on your career, focused on your manifestations, focused on just being, you know, good on your own and not really giving away too much information about where you're standing in regards to love. So let's see what do they feel when it comes to you. We have the Three of Cups. So they could feel that you have a third party or they could feel like they want to come together to reconcile with you. I just split the deck and got the sun. So I feel like they're having some sort of clarity when it comes to this connection with you. And um, what else are they feeling? Stop. Honey bun. We have the ten of cups with the knight of cups and the six of cups. So this person feels like they want to make an offer, a romantic offer, that's going to lead towards a happy ending and reconciling, okay? That's a very clear message. Basically, I feel like they're, they're, wanting, they're wanting good things. So they could have finally had some clarity about, like, hey, you know what? Like, I want to be able to reconcile. I want to be able to have a happy ending here. See, your ships could be coming in with this person. You could have been waiting for them to make some sort of final decision on this connection. And I just split the deck and got the star. So your wishes definitely could be coming true. And you could be evolving from that pre-empress to the empress. Because this, you know, emperor is going to show up and give to you the um, final decision there to make, make a reconciliation and to stop, you know, exploring other options or doing whatever they've been doing. Bringing a new truth, a new integrity, new communication to you. And, um evolving with a new perspective so let's see um what do they want really quickly i'm gonna take some of these back because the whole deck is starting to disappear so what do they want i feel like they're wanting you to wait for them okay 
like waiting for your ships to come in. They want, I think they want to know that you're still waiting for them. They're wanting justice and balance here. So they could be nervous that, you know, you're going to be like, fuck you, or that you're going to be angry or that you're going to be frustrated with them because maybe they've, you know, come and gone too many times or things like that. But they definitely want to take that leap of faith. I also feel like they, they don't really want to do anything because they're nervous. So that's like they want to put things on hold, but they do and they don't because they, they have this Page of Cups offer, which is something vulnerable and authentic and all of that but it's also somebody that's young so it means that like they're not very um you know experienced in it so this is something that they may not be very experienced in doing is like taking somebody from pre-empress to empress mode or taking in some like taking on somebody that's very like grounded and stable and committed and is gonna give to them in ways that they may not have received in a long time or ever possibly and they could be nervous about maybe this person's no longer going to want to nurture me or no longer want to be part of my situation because of how long it has taken to go back and forth and to do whatever has happened in this connection. So they could be just a little, this is like butterflies in the belly type of feeling. Just a little nervous. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So they definitely see you as being able to be multifaceted. We do have the Six of Pentacles, which is about give and take. So I feel like they know you have everything that is needed to give to them, but they could be worried that you may no longer want to give to them because they hadn't given to you when you were trying to give to them or, you know, when they were giving to you before it wasn't always balanced. Yeah, so we got the Ten of Swords here. I feel like they could be worried that they're going to go into a painful ending. They could also be worried that, like, they take this leap of faith into a connection and then it ends up bad, just like before. You know what I mean? Like, if they got hurt before, they could feel like, if I do this, this might be toxic, this might be bad for me, this might hurt me. Um, or they could have something, some sort of conflict, competition, jealousy thing going on right now with another person. Um, they could be in a relationship that's blocking the two of you from coming together that they need to go through a painful ending with in order to be able to make their physical offer. But I feel like they definitely have love to give to you with that Knight of Cups. Um, but there's just nerves surrounding it. Either that they're going to end up hurt or that, you know, something bad might happen to them. But they see you as their Two of Cups and they see you as that pre-empress that they would like to make, you know, the empress in their life. And I think they're just finding, trying to find the strength to do so. So what do they want to do? We've got the three of swords with the wand, nine of wands. So I feel like they've been wounded, they've been hurt, but they want to heal and they don't want to give up on this. So basically they want to go through the death process. They want to have a transformation of wherever they've been at and kind of come out the other side with that eight of, ace of wands, like a whole new beginning, that spark that kind of brings in new passion. They want to rush in and, and speak to you and reconcile and celebrate and just have things be in a much better position. I feel like they definitely want to say something to you and they may want to show up as an emperor ready to give to you ultimate fulfillment and, you know, just get rid of their illusions and distractions and third parties and bullshit things that haven't been helping your connection. So let's see. Yeah, we have, um, I did pull out cards from a couple of different decks here. So from the journey of love and the journey of love too, we have impatience. I can't wait. So I do feel like this person is impatient. They could be impatient when it comes to like the sexual element of things too. And then denial. I keep telling myself it's not over. So I feel like there is again that fear that for some people it could be like, is this over? Did I mess up too many times? Does this person still want to nurture me? Is this person still thinking about me? Um, and then journey of love union, union card. So this is the, the one card in the deck, it's number 11, this is about union. So you guys could be manifesting your union very quickly, but this person is angry with themselves, they're mad at themselves, I feel like they could have a little bit of aggression towards this too, like they're impatient with themselves, they're in denial with themselves, they're like getting a little upset, like I want you now, I want you to be the parent of my child, um, you know, wanting to take things while they're fertile, and then reconciling the past, surrendering into a new chapter. So you could be seeing the nines right now. And then uh, inebriated illusions, time is an illusion, release your confusion. So I feel like they need they need to stop focusing on time. I feel like they think they're running out of time or like 
they got to just like go from zero to 100 really quickly because they could feel like the longer they're waiting, the more of this energy is manifesting where somebody's just going to like, there's, they're not going to get it ever. So they could be going into like those illusions and into the darkness. And when darkness is fighting to overcome light, expect the rebirth of death into life. So um, I feel like this is that death card energy coming in and they're going to go through a transformation to release themselves from illusions. And if you still do care about this person, because I feel like some of you don't, but some of you do. If you do, you just need to be in your receptive, nurturing, defined feminine energy. You could be seeing 13s or the 3s a lot. But there is definitely something that's been out of alignment. And I feel like it's probably just how things were manifesting within this connection. So reassigning it by being, you know, in the divine feminine, if you're the feminine, being in the divine masculine, if you're the masculine, getting rid of that, like, focus on when and now and time and getting rid of the... Um, third parties and the outside influences yeah because there's definitely like a third element in this connection that's causing issues but you can still ascend and transform and then something sweet or something sour is coming for you within the hour so you could be dealing with like you could be dealing with something that you don't want and something that you do want and it's almost like you don't know which thing's going to show up or what's going to happen and you could definitely be seeing a lot of threes so i feel like some of this issue is that like you could have a person that won't let you go or a person that you know is just toxic and karmic and part of the illusions part of the confusion part of that seven of cups energy that needs to go away so that you can go towards the sweetness um and then do you not see you're already free so if if you've been stuck in a karmic contract or if they've been stuck in a karmic contract people just basically need to see out of the illusion and realize that they're already free and awaken to their new union and pay attention to the signs and get out of like the frustration get out of the anger get out of denial get out of you know oh no what about this what about that because that's when you start manifesting those things happening um and then no one will ever come between us again. You're all I've ever wanted and my truest friend. So if somebody's been trying to come between you, this is the deepest desires. I feel like on either side of this, there's really nothing to worry about. Because if it's on your side, you don't want this other person. And if it's on their side, they don't want the other person. It could just be something that's like lingering and not going away. Um, and then love or lust. Love and lust. Do you know that I love you, but it's your body I must do. So this person does love you. Um, as much as they desire you physically and the dreams the visions the thoughts in my bed everything about you gets stuck in my head so this person could be dreaming about you that could be the seven of cups energy too is that they could be having a lot of dreams and like you know daydreaming and just thinking about you a lot and reminiscing about their times together with you and then from tantric twin we have um, touch me with your eyes, an erotic surprise. I'll make love to you with my eyes and wrap you up in my thighs. So there's definitely something about the eyes here within this connection. And I never knew the words twin flame would bring such pleasure and such pain. So it's likely this is your twin flame. 1111 union is what you would be having with this person. If you can start to see that you're already free, if you can get rid of the illusions, get rid of the distractions, get rid of the karmic people, get rid of whatever's keeping you out of alignment. It could be addictions. It could be beliefs systems it could be whatever that's you know just taking you out of being receptive and into the, like the right place you know it could even just be wanting to escape instead of showing up and you know communicating or facing whatever it is that needs to be faced here because you get the denial in this energy so this could be you or them or both of you who are like i just want to fucking escape i don't even want to acknowledge this somebody could be worried about their legacy and their status and that could be you know again that ego shit that needs to be get rid of that seven of cups energy that needs to be getting rid of because someone's sitting in their bed feeling lonely and feeling empty um, but then they're worried about their legacy. So instead of doing anything about it, they just want to escape or have a couple of drinks or, you know, smoke something or do something stupid that just kind of numbs it for a little bit. And then I know I'm running out of time. So this was, I feel like one of the main issues here is that someone feels they're running out of time, but they don't want to run out of time and they don't want to accept it's over and they're frustrated and they're angry and angry with themselves and needing to start saving themselves instead of everyone else so they could have a lot of responsibilities or just have a lot of stuff going on around them um, and they hate not knowing what's going on so again I feel like you could be very much in your high priestess queen of swords energy not really giving them a whole lot of info to go off of about how you feel with them and that could be making them feel like they just don't know what's going on and then I'm afraid you're not going to want me if you see the truth dark so they could be worried that like you know, if they're engaged in things like this or engaged in, in bullshit,
behavior like worrying about their status and you know having some not so good stuff like get, getting caught in the illusions of time and not stepping up and causing a lot of pain and just separation and things like that um, they could be worried that by the time you know you get to see them when you figure out like you know when you know everything that's going on you're gonna be like never mind um, you know what I mean like never mind I don't want you but I don't think that's the case here I feel like you're dealing with somebody that just needs to get through their frustration and and calm down a little bit and become patient and then you know release any denials or any any illusions that they're holding on to that seven of cups energy I feel like is one of the main issues and outside influences is one of the main issues here so hopefully that made sense for you guys Thank you very much. Um, all of the decks that I use that are mine will be listed down below. They're all available on Etsy. And in Monet, namaste.